Hello, motherfuckers. I'm really gonna dread doing that later. Really gonna fucking dread doing that. Why the fuck would I start a video like that? Anyway, um, I don't know what the title's gonna be yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say, if you've seen the title of this video, then you're probably aware that I have social anxiety. Fucking hell, I just thought someone was walking up my stairs and really scared me, and really tripped me out. Fucking hell, that's just my fucking bird. Fucking bird over there in a fucking cage, biting the wall. Fucking bird biting the wall. Anyway, <laughs> fuck's sake, you probably gathered that I've got social anxiety. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to talk about. Let's Let's try and Try and explain what social anxiety is. Um, well, I don't really need to explain it to you. I can just read it from this website that I've uh, you know, got loaded up. Just read a brief bit from it. Social anxiety disorder is sometimes called social phobia. Sometimes. Social anxiety disorder is not just shyness. It's more severe than this. Fucking hell. A lot more severe than that. With social anxiety disorder, you get very anxious about what other people may think of you or how they may judge you. As a result, you may have great difficulty in social situations which can affect your day-to-day -day life. Symptoms include a marked fear or dread of social situations. You fear that you will act in an embarrass embarrassing or humiliating way and that other people think you are stupid, inadequate and foolish. And that basically... That almost sums up the whole thing, really. Because that is what it is. It's fear that fucking everyone's looking at you, thinking you're weird, thinking you're a fucking freak. Um, and you always, like for me personally, and most of us, we always fear that every social situation we get into is going to end in public humiliation. Like, imagine if, I mean, as you've, Imagine if everywhere you went, everyone you spoke to, someone chucked an egg on your head or something. You get eventually you get used to that feeling and you'd hate it so fucking much. You'd avoid going to speak to people. You'd avoid going out anywhere where you can get an egg on your fucking head. <laughs> and that's what it's kind of what it's like for social anxiety. In some cases the fear is only for certain situations where you'll be looked at by others, even if they are known to you. For example, you become very anxious if you have to perform in some way, such as giving a talk or presentation, taking part in a discussion at work or school, etc. But you are okay in informal social gatherings. I think that's a rare kind of social anxiety. Some people who only... I think there's a whole other term for that. That doesn't really sum up. That shouldn't really be included in it, really. Um, I think that's something else, fear of public speaking. Or some shit, I don't fucking know. I'm not Dr. Walters, am I? <laughs> In other cases, the fear occurs for most social situations where you may meet where you may meet strangers. This can even include eating in public areas as you fear you may act in an embarrassing way. And that's true, that's true for us. I mean, I don't have too much of a problem eating in front of people. As long as it isn't somewhere where I'm the only one eating and people can fucking hear me swallow and shit because then I think people think I fucking I'm eating weird people think I'm fucking I don't know just eating weird I suppose you may have weeks of anxiety prior to social to, prior to an to a social fuck's sake you may have weeks of anxiety prior to a social event or an event where you have to perform. I mean, that could be anything. Say you're going to go for a job interview, although not many of us go for job interviews nowadays. Say you're going for a job interview and it's in two weeks' time. You'll be fucking thinking about that for the whole two weeks. You'll be thinking what you're going to say, how you're going to say it, how you're going to see it, what you're going to wear, fucking how many fucking spots you're going to have on your face. If your hair's going to be cut or not. Are you going to have time to shave? You know, fuck's sake. Loads of shit. 
and and uh, basically with social anxiety because you're always fearing fucking humiliation you're always fearing that you're going to be made a joke of um, and that's a horrible feeling you don't want to feel like, like I said earlier with the egg on your head you don't want to you don't want that to have happen to you all the time you don't want to feel like you're making a twat of yourself so you know you learn to avoid these things and, and that just makes it worse really um, some some people like can't even come out of their house and some people haven't spoke to more than like three or four people in the last like ten years or something you know maybe they only speak to their social worker or carer because that's how bad it can get it can get really bad so you avoid such situations as much as possible if you go to the feared situation you become very anxious and distressed yeah, because immediately a million things are going through your head, you know. Like I say, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, I'm going to look stupid, people think I'm weird, I'm embarrassing myself, blah, blah, blah. You may develop some physical symptoms of anxiety. These may include a fast heart rate. That's pretty much always going to happen. You know, because you're scared. I mean, when you're scared, your body, you know, puts you into the fight or flight um, response. And... Even if you do fucking fight, you still feel like shit anyway, so, you know, what's the point? You might as well run away most of the time. Um, you may develop some physical symptoms of anxiety. These may include a fast heart rate, palpitations, shaking, tremors, sweating, feeling sick, chest pain, headaches, stomach pains, a knot in the stomach, and fast breathing. And quite a lot of the time, it's all of them things. And that just makes it worse, because, I mean... Fuck's sake, someone only come to, like, buy a car off you or something, well, you know, buy something off you. And then you start sweating and shaking. And all you're doing is speaking to someone, the most basic thing ever. And you start sweating and shaking and feeling sick. And then you get anxious about that. And you think about that. Because you know they're going to notice it. And then you get anxious about feeling fucking anxious. Which is just weird as fuck. Get anxious about fucking feeling anxious and looking anxious as... It's just horrible. You may blush easily, and that, that's that's one of the worst ones. That's a dead giveaway, isn't it, really? If you go bright red in the face, someone asks you what your name is, then you go bright red in the face and, you know, can barely get your words out or something. You may have an intense desire to get away from the situation, which you will have. You may even have a panic attack. However, you will usually know that your fear and anxiety are excessive and unreasonable, and yet, that's the worst part. That is the, in my opinion, the worst part of social anxiety, because I know all the thoughts going through my head, totally unrealistic. It probably won't happen, and even if they do happen, who gives a fucking shit, you know? Even if I do have to speak in front of ten people, and some of them think I'm weird or don't like me, I mean, who cares, man? I mean, you know... I don't care, but I do care. Well, I don't care, <laughs> but my body cares. I mean, I can't control the chemicals that are fucking released into my body and make me feel this way. This is why it's so fucking shit, because, like, I think we all tell ourselves every day, like, come on now, that's a stupid, like, fuck's sake. You don't need to feel this way, but you do. Who has social anxiety disorder? It's one of the most common mental health conditions. As many as 1 in 10 adults have social anxiety disorder to some degree. It usually develops in the teenage years and is usually a lifelong problem unless treated. Just over twice as many women as men are affected. Just over twice as many women as men. So it's more common in women. I actually didn't even know that. I thought it'd be more common. Well, I suppose makes sense in this fucking society. Society's fucking shit. What causes social anxiety disorder? The cause is probably a combination of your genetic makeup, makeup, which makes you more prone to this condition and bad experiences as a child. In one study, about half of all affected people said their phobia began after one memorable, embarrassing experience. The other half said it could have been present as long as they could remember. I mean, for a lot of people, if they are humiliated in public, if they are bullied, then they will develop social anxiety disorder. And that's why I, that's why I fucking hate bullying and things like that. That's why I hate making a joke of people 
humiliating them. Like all these people get all these people getting humiliated on TV, you know, just because they do one little thing wrong, and the whole world's laughing at them. I mean, that's fucking that's ridiculous. That is. I mean, what, why do we want to live in a world like that? And that's why we feel this way. <sighs> what are treatment options for social anxiety disorder? We don't really need to go into all that shit. Um, honestly, I didn't plan the video to be like this. And uh, it, I probably have just rambled on about a load of rubbish. I've tried to be as relaxed as possible. Um... So yeah, I think that pretty much sums up social anxiety and that's, and this is me saying I have social anxiety and I fucking hate social anxiety and I wish I could just not have social anxiety, social anxiety, social anxiety, piece of shit. Um, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I mean, well I say that, but am I even going to show anyone this video? Who fucking knows? I don't even know why I'm making this video. Why does someone with social anxiety want to make a a video saying, here, this is social anxiety and this is what I have? It doesn't really make any sense, but I suppose if we're going to get better, we have to come to terms with who we are, what we've got. Easier said than done. I tell myself that every fucking day. Don't we all? But, um, I mean, in a roundabout way, if everyone knew I had social anxiety disorder, Eventually, that sort of worry would wear off. Like, I wouldn't care that everyone knew I had social anxiety disorder. Or at least I think that's how it'll work. Fuck knows. Apologies for my language. Thanks for watching.